what is an extraordinary quality of life, it's different for everybody, right? Really, an extraordinary life is life on whose terms for you? And so everybody in this room has a different model of the world of what that would look like. What would be an even more magnificent life? What would be an even more extraordinary life? There's only two master skills to do this, and I want to remind you of those two skills because it's still the two skills for life. What's the first master skill to having an extraordinary life? Do you remember? It's the science of achievement. If you're going to have an extraordinary life, one of the master skills for actually creating that life is mastering this. Mastering the ability to take what you envision and make it real. And there's a science to it, isn't there? There's a science to achievement. There's a science to, for example, money. I just spent four years, as most of you know, interviewing 50 of the smartest people on the planet financially. I learned more than I ever imagined. I got a PhD in finance from the people that control the world economy. And they're all people that were not part of the lucky sperm club. I didn't interview anybody that got it from their family by birthright. I did it with people that all started with nothing. And I began to see there's common patterns. And once you know what those patterns are, I don't care if you're young or old, I don't care what your color is, I don't care what your gender is, I don't care what country you're from. If you understand the science of building wealth, you can have abundance financially. If you violate those rules, either because you're ignorant to them or because you just don't apply them, you're gonna have financial stress. There's a science to the body. Everyone here is biochemically different, but there's certain fundamental rules, laws, that if you violate them, you're gonna have a lack of energy. If you really violate them, you're gonna have dis-ease in the body. That's what it means, dis-ease. It comes from violating those rules. If you align with the rules of achievement around the body, you'll have an abundance of energy. You'll feel strong. You'll have an extraordinary body and the extraordinary energy that comes with it. So science of achievement is something most of you are quite obsessed by or you wouldn't get to a room like this but there's a second master skill to have an extraordinary life. And that second skill is the art of fulfillment. When I talk about the art of fulfillment, what I explain to people always is, I didn't say science of fulfillment. Why not? Because it's different for everyone, just like art. What one person thinks is beautiful, somebody else might think is ugly. So if you wanna know what's beautiful, as many people there are on earth, it's an art because everyone has a different view. If you want to know what God loves, the universe loves, go to the forest and see it. It's called massive diversity. It isn't a science. It's an art. But that art, unmastered, will create an ugly life. An ugly life. And the phrase I use most often that I hope you've heard me say and you take it in once again maybe deeper is, success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. But if we don't physically make a decision how we're going to live, then we'll show up like everybody else because the human mind is not going to make you happy. This brain of yours won't do it. You have to direct it. And there's no worse fate than to achieve everything and not be fulfilled. How many have had the days where... You achieved this huge goal, and your brain always wanted it, and you got it, and then your brain went, is this all there is? Who's been there? It's the worst experience. It's worse than failing, isn't it? Because most of you are achievers, so failure never stops you. You just look at it as a little bump on the road. I'll try something what? But when you succeed and you fail, when you succeed and you're not fulfilled, that's scary.